Welcome. We're gonna do a quick 20, 25 minute practice to ground ourselves and just feel good, reset. You can do this, squeeze this in and between a baby nap or if you have a short lunch break. So let's start in child's pose. Bringing the big toes to touch, knees wide apart and release your forehead on the mat. And allow your pelvic floor to relax and take a couple of deep breaths to the back of your lungs, filling them with air. So it's a 360 degree breath. And then exhale through the mouth. Inhaling, imagining that you have wings expanding on the inhale. Exhale, let it go. And just keep breathing like this for a couple of times on your own. Letting go of any tension. Start bringing your right hand towards the right side and allow the left one to follow <clears throat> and come on top of the right. And imagine that I am pushing your hips down towards your heels. This will allow your left side body to stretch a little bit more. Allow your shoulders to relax. Keep the pelvic floor relaxed. Breathe. Come back to center and start moving towards the left side, bringing the right hand on top of the left. And again, bringing those hips back so you allow the side body to lengthen. One more breath here. Releasing the pelvic floor, the glutes. Good, coming back to center. Take one last stretch here, bringing maybe the fingertips a little bit further away from you. And when you're ready, come into tabletop or all fours, allowing the wrists to come under the shoulders and knees under the hips. And let's just start moving organically, just as you please. You can do circles with your hips. Just feeling into the core, into the pelvis. Maybe your wrists are a little bit sore, you know, from carrying baby. Notice where you're at. Moving your hips, making circles. And come to neutral. Bring the fingertips to face your knees and allow the wrist here to stretch a little bit. You can do small, very subtle circles, one side and then the other. Good, coming back <clears throat> to your neutral pose and let's do a couple of cat cows. Inhale and keeping the pelvis neutral, opening up the chest. Exhale, push the mat away, round the back, tuck the tailbone under. So this is when you tilt the pelvis, engage the pelvic floor. So imagine there's an arrow going up towards your belly button. Inhale, looking up, opening up the chest, bringing the shoulder blades towards one another. Exhale, rounding and taking that arrow up towards your belly button. And inhale, open, exhale, rounding and engaging up and in. A couple more like this on your own. Hmm. 
Mm, good. And when you're ready, tuck the toes under and lift up into a down dog and start just pedaling one foot and then the other. And allowing the back of your body to stretch, making sure that your fingertips are nicely wide. Your shoulders are away from your ears and you're breathing and just allowing your pelvic floor to relax here. No need to tense it up or anything. And notice where the weight of your body is. It should be ideally on your fingertips and not on your wrists. Take one 360 degree breath, expanding the back body, the sides, the front. Exhale it through the mouth, open the, uh, stick out the tongue. <sighs> Inhale. <sighs> Good. Walking your fingers, your <laughs> feet towards your fingertips. Inhale into a halfway lift. Bring the shoulder blades towards one another. Hinging from the hips. Exhale, come down. And bring the left hand in front of your left foot. And then bending the left knee, open up, lifting the right arm up. Nice little chest opener here. Exhale, come down and then bring the right hand on the ground. Open up towards the left. So feel free to bend the right knee as much as you need to. And feeling the stretch also on the left leg, the left um, thigh. Exhale, come down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding. And allow your head to just relax here. Ragdoll, you can grab opposite elbows with your hands. Or you can also do gorilla pose. You bring the palms of your hands facing up underneath the soles of your feet and allow your toes to massage your wrist. Allow the weight of your body to tilt a little bit towards the toes and just relax here for a moment. This feels really nice for the wrists. Good, and releasing, coming all the way up, rounding the spine. Head is the last thing to come up. Bring the shoulders towards your ears, roll them back and down. Palms facing forward, Tadasana, mountain pose. Slightly tilt your pelvis or your tailbone down. Engage the core, chest is open. Subtle smile on your face. Inhale, bring your arms up. Twist towards the right. So bringing the right arm back, the left arm facing forward. Allow your hips to stay facing forward as much as possible. So you get a nice torso twist here. Inhale, come up. And then exhale, twist to the other side, looking towards the left, towards the back towards the left hand. Inhale, come up. And then exhale, come down all the way, hinging from the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, come down. Step your feet back. Release the knees and allow the chest and the chin to follow towards the ground. Slide forward on your inhale into a cobra, bringing the elbows close to your sides. Mm, feel the opening here of your chest. Feel the belly and the pubic bone grounded on the mat. Your belly is still engaged here. Exhale, release. And come all the way into child's pose and then lift up into downward facing dog. And breathe here for a moment. Good. Inhale and lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it between your hands. Coming to low lunge, bringing your knee down. And just feel the stretch here. You can do little circles towards one side and then to the other. 
allowing or making sure that your knee is on top of your ankle, not over it. Good, I'm breathing here. And inhale, engage your pelvic floor, engage the hips, try to bring the right hip back and then the left hip forward and come up, bringing your arms up. You can bring your palms or your fingertips to touch. And breathe here. Exhale, come down. Lifting the back knee up and prepare to bring the left knee parallel to the right. And at the same time, you're lifting the ankle to, towards your left glute. So this is flamingo pose. Just a nice little stretch here. Option to bring your right hand to grab the back of your right shin or your calf muscle. But if that's too much, just keep both hands on the mat. And bring the left foot to join the right. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step both feet back. Engage the core. Release the knees. Chest and chin come down. Inhaling into cobra. Opening up the collarbone. Exhale. Take your hips back to your heels and up into down dog. Breathe here. Notice where you're at. Inhale your left leg up. Exhale, step it between your hands. Release the back knee and melt into this nice little hip flexor stretch. Uh, doing circles as you, as you, um, Please, switching directions. Good, bring the back knee up and engaging the core, allow the knees to join together, lifting that right heel towards the glute, folding forward option to bring the left hand behind your left leg and breathing here finding focus feeling grounded feeling rooted centered good I'm bringing both hands on the mat release the foot to join the left one fold forward Inhale, come all the way up and coming to chair pose. So here, if you have a block or a ball or something that you can squeeze, bring it between your knees and sit on your imaginary chair, engaging the core. You are tucking the tailbone under, but not too much. You're still allowing your glutes to flare a little bit. And just sit here, breathing option to stay here or if you're feeling a little bit more energy you can bring your palms in front of your heart and then twist towards the right bring the elbow on the outside edge of your right knee open up and breathe Inhale, come up, bring the arms up. You're still on your chair. You're still holding that strength. Exhale, bring hands in front of the heart. Take one breath in. And on the exhale, twist to the other side. Making sure that the knees are as aligned as possible. So holding that block between your knees is just making sure that you're stable in your pelvic area. And breathe here. Good. Inhaling. Release the block if you had one between your knees and come all the way up. Inhale. 
exhale bring the hands behind you interlace your fingers open up the chest and then exhale fold forward allow the hands to move towards the front of the room opening up the chest and inhale come back into your chair without the block exhale come all the way down bring your hands your hands your <laughs> knees back and sit on your heels allow your legs to come forward and come to lie on your back making sure you come from your side first and then roll towards the back and we're gonna finish up with some dynamic bridges. <sighs> Making sure that um, your, you can grab your heels with your middle fingers, your lower back, your whole back is glued to the mat. And inhale, 360 degree breath. Exhale, engage the core and the pelvic floor and lift up. You can stay here or you can start doing the dynamic bridge. So inhaling, coming down, exhaling, lifting up, inhaling, and exhaling. And keep going like this. This is great for your glutes, for your pelvic floor, for your core, your lower back. It's just a full body exercise. Good. And then integrate your hands. So when you lift up, bring the hands back over your head. Exhale, bring them forward. And in, exhaling. Inhaling. Couple more. And on your last lift, stay there. Your hands are over your head, palms facing up. And extra credit for pulses. <laughs> so let's pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come down. Bring your knees towards your chest. Roll from side to side. You might hear my son in the background. The monitor is on. <laughs> Forgot to turn it off. He was taking a nap earlier. Bring your knees towards your armpits. So you come into happy baby, grabbing the outside edges of your feet. And then just move from side to side. Mm. Allowing the sacrum to be as grounded on the mat as possible. And just remember how grounded and centered you can be, you can feel. But just tapping into yourself, into your body, allowing yourself to breathe and take time to decompress. Come into Shavasana allowing the feet to just flap towards the outside edges of the mat palms are facing up you can bring your shoulder blades towards one another opening up the chest a little bit more and then lift your head look down towards your belly and then allow the head to relax neck is nice and long just take a minute here to surrender to let go of what you could do or not do during this practice and just remember that you showed up and that's what matters
feel your forehead relaxing and your jaw, your neck and shoulders just melting into the mat. Your chest and belly fully relaxed, no tension. Your arms, your fingers, your hands. Bringing your attention to your hips, your pelvic floor is fully relaxed, your legs, your feet and toes. And your whole body is relaxed. And imagine that you have a pitcher or a glass full of your essence of you, who you are deep inside, who you like most about yourself. That glass is glowing with your essence. And imagine that you are being poured that glass with your essence all over your body. Refilling yourself with your essence, with yourself, your best self. You can stay here as long as you like, resting in yourself. If you're ready to move on with your day, start wiggling your toes and fingers. Take a full body stretch, bringing feet together, arms overhead. Deep breath. And rolling towards our side, using our hands to come up into seated and bringing the base of your hands together to touch the thumbs are touching the pinky fingers are touching and the rest of the fingers are just flaring out like if you had a flower and imagine that this flower this this cup that you're holding in front of you is just filled with your essence with your best self, your best traits. And it's full, full of you. Draw a subtle smile on your face. And take this with you to the rest of your day. Bringing palms in front of your forehead, bowing to yourself. Namaste.